Well, I'm one of the chief investigators on the CP Achieve team. And a typical day is a bit hard to, to describe, really. I am a, a lecturer in occupational therapy at Australian Catholic University in North Sydney. So that involves teaching and marking and preparing and all of those kinds of things. I'm involved with um, other research teams as well. So doing research, all of the um, CP Achieve activities. And then I guess the other thing is uh, supporting um, research more generally. So I help with a research group here and uh, supervise research students. So a lovely mix of different activities. It's a bit embarrassing to say that I've been in the field for more than 30 years. And a very cliched, I, I started being an occupational therapist um, because I just really wanted to help people actually. And then I, you know, I discovered research many years ago and it's a way of kind of helping more people really. By, by doing research, we can support clinicians and service providers to find the best ways of doing things. And also, um, you know, as they roll out that work with families, you know, more, more families benefit from the knowledge that, that research teams generate. I actually love the process of research. I love having questions that we then systematically develop rigorous methodology to find the right answers to those questions in the right way, and then to identify the best way of getting those messages out into practice and to the people who need to know the answers to those questions. But right now, my main two things that I um, probably am most passionate about are the work we're doing um, about uh, consumer involvement in research. So the best ways of involving children, adolescents, um, people with cerebral palsy and their families in the research that we do, because ultimately that's going to really um, assist, make the best research possible. And the other thing that I'm really loving at the moment is the work we're doing with eye gaze control technology. So this technology that will assist people with really complex communication needs uh, to be able to interact, um, to communicate, to work through via their computer access, to have more leisure options, those kinds of things. Well, without doubt, it's the people in the team, it's, it's everybody in the team. I think they're a group of really knowledgeable people, incredibly generous, smart, with a huge can-do attitude and, and mountains of passion. And the other thing I really love about the team is just how readily they have adopted consumer involvement um, in all of their aspects of their research, have, have really readily uh, seen how much involving consumers can inform their research, can make it so much more meaningful um, and so much more directed at finding the, the outcomes and the answers that our research needs to do. No, well, professionally, we're on the, the cusp of so many projects at the moment that I'm really looking forward to seeing them, um, you know, being involved in really progressing those. And, and I think the other thing is to uh, really consolidate the work we're doing with consumer involvement. We've done a lot of setting up systems and now I'm just looking forward to really seeing how that plays out and how impactful that um, the people with CP and their families are in the research of CP achieved. Personally, huh, I'd like to do more exercise, get fitter. No, it's so important to health and well-being um, to exercise, and uh, yeah, that would be my my personal objective for next year. <laughs>